While Ashley Graham may not be the most popular character to have ever graced the Resident Evil universe, she still has a big part to play in the storyline of Resident Evil 4. In fact, you could argue that she's the most important character in the game, because while she's not the main character that we control, she is the one that Leon was sent into Spain to find. Not to mention the fact that she was the crux of Awesome and Sadler's entire plan. So, we kidnapped the President's daughter in order to give her our power, and then send her back. No. However, after the events of the game, Ashley's fate is kind of left up in the air as to what will become of her in the future. After getting shot down by Leon as to a date once everything had settled down, we are really only left to make assumptions as to what her future held in store. That being said though, there are some pieces of information that we can use to make an educated guess as to her whereabouts. Starting first with her connection to the president. So if you've played the newer games in the series, then you'll know that in Resident Evil 6, the then president of the United States unfortunately turns into a zombie and has to be killed by none other than Leon himself. This seems to be the catalyst for a lot of people's curiosity about the daughter of the president that we'd rescued a few years prior. However, fortunately for Ashley, these two people are not the same. Ashley's father was President Graham, while the man who died in Resident Evil 6 was named Adam Benford. The fact that their names don't line up luckily isn't the only evidence that we have, however, seeing as the president in Resident Evil 6 is shot by Leon in 2013. That would make the events of Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 6 take place nine years apart, meaning that even if President Graham had been elected right when his daughter was taken in 04, he still would have been able to serve his two terms and been out of office by 2013. It's also stated in a tie-in manga to Resident Evil called Resident Evil Heavenly Island that the events of Resident Evil 4 took place in August of 04. Seeing as elections take place in November, that means that President Graham would have been in office by at least 2003, making it highly unlikely that these two men are the same, assuming that the Resident Evil universe follows in line with current US reality. Don't make me do this. All of this is to say that Ashley's father would appear to be just fine, so his death wouldn't play a factor in how she's doing today. As for what that is, that's a little bit harder to say. Ashley was 20 at the time of Resident Evil 4, so current day she'd be around 36, meaning that she would have graduated from college already and started whatever career she decided to go into. Based on Ashley's personality and her upbringing, that probably wouldn't put her in the line of work that someone like Leon is associated with. This being a lore-friendly way of explaining why we haven't seen her since 04, and why we will probably never see her again, barring a potential cameo or something of that sort. Whereas it made sense for someone like Sherry to grow up into an agent after the events of Resident Evil 2, it really wouldn't work for Ashley. For one thing, she was already an adult at the time of her introduction into the series, and though she braved quite a few hardships during her time in Spain, they far from turned her into a hardened soldier. If she were to make a return to the series, I could see her taking on a similar role as someone like Hunnigan, a more support-focused role where she's helping those who are in the field. Other than that, however, I wouldn't hold my breath for her return to the series anytime soon. Lore-wise, I don't really see where it would make sense, and unless she's way different in the remake, I don't know that there's much of a clamoring for her from the community for her to make a reappearance either. You all right? I'm fine! Just leave me alone! Ashley, wait! <gasps> Ashley! What's going on? 